This is the second narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 4, Energy Transformation. Let's get started. This portion of the module focuses on oxidation and reduction reactions, named redox reactions, involved in cellular respiration. Cellular respiration begins in the cytoplasm and completes in the mitochondria and eukaryotes while entirely taking place in the cytoplasm and prokaryotes. Cellular respiration is the process that breaks down organic molecules to produce adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Aerobic cellular respiration involves oxygen molecules while anaerobic respiration does not involve oxygen molecules. Redox reactions, named for the reduction and oxidation of chemicals, involves two simultaneous events. Reduction is the term that describes the gain of electrons. Electrons are negatively charged, so they subtract from or reduce the overall charge of the molecule. The overall charge of the molecule does not necessarily change if an electron is accompanied by a proton in the form of a hydrogen atom. Thus, the gain of a hydrogen atom is also considered a reduction reaction. Oxidation is the loss of an electron. Oxidation, oxidation is named this because oxygen is capable of forming double bonds which give off electrons when formed. Oxidation tends to increase the charge of a molecule. However, the overall charge will not change if the electron lost is accompanied by a protein, proton in the form of a hydrogen atom. Thus, the loss of a hydrogen atom is deemed as oxidation reaction. In the diagram, module X is oxidized because it loses an electron, while module Y is reduced because it gains an electron. Cellular respiration is a complex series of chemical reaction that converts glucose, drawn here as C6H12O6, and oxygen, drawn as O2 into carbon dioxide, CO2, water, H2O, and ATP, which is used as energy. Glucose loses electrons by losing hydrogen atoms. Therefore, glucose is oxidized to form carbon dioxide. Molecular oxygen, O2, gains electrons by gaining hydrogen atoms. Therefore, oxygen is reduced to form water. All types of organic molecules, except the nucleic acids, can be used for energy. The diagram shows how glucose, a carbohydrate, fats, a triglyceride lipid, and protein formed by amino acids can undergo cellular respiration to produce energy. Cellular respiration in eukaryotes takes place differently than in prokaryotes because eukaryotes contain mitochondria. This slide shows the process of eukaryotic cell respiration which utilizes the double membrane bound organelles, the mitochondria. This form of respiration is also aerobic because oxygen molecules are involved. Glucose, a six carbon containing monosaccharide, is broken down to form two pyruvate molecules, a three carbon mon monosaccharide in the cytoplasm. The process that takes place in the cytoplasm is called glyco glycolysis. The pyruvate molecules are transported into the mitochondria where it is converted to acetyl coenzyme A, also called acetyl CoA, and oxidized to form carbon dioxide and water. Two processes take place in the mitochondria the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. 
The Krebs cycle involves the enzymatic oxidation of acetyl-CoA into carbon dioxide while converting other molecules into FADH-2 and NADH and ATP for energy. The electron transport chain involves a series of redox reactions that oxidize FADH-2 and NADH with oxygen to form water and to synthesize 32-38 ATP for energy. Glycolysis, the chemical breakdown of glucose, takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Pyruvate is converted into acetyl-CoA in the inner membrane space of the mitochondrion, shown in blue on this diagram. The Krebs cycle oxidizes acetyl-CoA to produce carbon dioxide and ATP, FADH-2, and NADH as byproducts. The electron transport chain involves a series of redox reactions that oxidize FADH-2 and NADH with the help of several enzymatic proteins embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Oxygen is the final electron acceptor of the chain and combines with hydrogen to form water. If oxygen is not present, neither the Krebs cycle nor the electron transport chain can operate. Another anaerobic process called fermentation can occur that takes place and produces only two ATP, much less than aerobic respiration. Yeasts will ferment pyruvate to form ethanol, a type of alcohol, and animals ferment pyruvate to form lactic acid. In review, we discuss the key terms and concepts of cellular respiration. In general, respiration converts organic molecules and oxygen into carbon dioxide and water to produce ATP for energy. If oxygen is not present, a process called fermentation occurs, and it is different in different types of organisms.